Hey everybody, welcome back to Behind the Bar, live from Chicago once again. I promise I am not near as drunk as I was last time I was with this guy. Um, what? Brian from Forbidden Roots. Hey everybody, how we doing? Welcome to uh, my humble abode in Chicago. We're actually in my apartment it building. Is. We're in his About to uh, review a beer that's not Forbidden Root and just have some fun with some local Chicago oh, stuff that it. what are we reviewing? Nate has been wanting to try. Uh, Keep in mind it's not backwards for them. Yeah, this is not backwards. So this is uh, from Moore Brewing Company. Cheers. It's henna. Uh, yeah. Bottle one, I guess you'd talk about. It's a Neapolitan stout. Um, strawberry vanilla chocolate? Yeah, strawberry vanilla chocolate uh, from Sean, uh, who is a phenomenal brewer. Uh, and, and more importantly, super awesome guy. Yeah. Not even, you know. Reviewed a few of his beers on the channel. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 kind of more, I don't know, how do I, this is my first yeah, time trying to no, find no, where we do it. We're good. Um, um, give me that one real quick. Yeah. And in fairness, uh, I do, I had not had his beers uh, from more. I had some of his um, beers from before. From but, Ram. From Ram, but we actually drank Henna Batch 2 earlier, which was amazing. So this one got a little bit more hype. Yeah. So you got the proper glassware. So this is eleven point eight. Bolter, not that everyone cares about that. Mine's not proper. Eleven point eight percent strawberry vanilla and chocolate imperial stop. Not barrel aged batch one, and we have. I don't know what's going on behind us, but whatever. <laughs> um, so let's dive in. I mean, it's pitch black. No, I mean a half finger carb, completely gone. Looks thick. I'm, I'm ready. Let's to do PGG. In. Oh, proper. I don't have proper glassware. Does that look good? Oh, look good. All right. No, I don't, and I don't know what he's doing. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Welcome to the shot. Yeah. We didn't. We didn't really do aroma. It smelled like strawberry, and it kind of tastes like strawberry. We're not drinking the same beer. Thank you. You can watch this later and know you were a part of it. I'm helping. I'm a helper. Um, mouthfeel on this is amazing. The nose is like straight. Strawberry, like like strawberry Nestle Quick. You remember mm -hmm. that, like back in the day. Hundred percent with a little bit of chocolate. And yeah. So when I had Scoop, which I'm not going to compare this to Scoop because that's not fair to anybody. But like, remember like the? Did you ever like the astronaut powdered? Like when you were in elementary yeah, school, like the kid like, give you that shit? like that's what this kind of reminds me of a little bit. Okay. I'm going to go with a little bit more of like that Nestle try this? Quick. Love Off camera. Strawberry. I mean, the the thing about it I love about his stouts is the straight up chocolate. Like, oh, body. huge! It's chocolate. just incredible. When you talk about s'more love, coconilla, that's all. That's straight chocolate body. And then, I mean, the strawberry just on top of it's so good. Well, here's here's the acceptance you have to have with a beer like this. Do you like kind of fakeish? adjuncts like it's it's not artificial but it's like syrupy okay. strawberry vanilla and chocolate so if you don't like that in the stout and you want like natural adjuncts like we've drank some pretty good natural adjunct stouts tonight we might have um <laughs> cannot confirm nor did i um dbt this is a little more later this is a little more artificial but ridiculously awesome like this is if you don't like this beer i don't understand what you were expecting out of neapolitan stuff the mouth feels awesome yeah Mouth feels amazing. Um, you don't have barrel character, so you're like completely relying on the stout, and it hits all the notes. For and me. I'd love to see this in a barrel. Um, I honestly I can't remember if he did. Uh, I want to say he did, but I, I, and at the time I know he was so low on barrels, and he's been doing more barrel stuff. Um, they actually just congrats to them. They just bought another brewery and are expanding and oh, doing nice. way more barrels. Um, so. And, and, and Sean's just super talented. And, we're, you know, the, the cool thing about Chicago is, and I don't know how it is with everybody else, but so many people are friends. Forbidden Root, yeah. you know, Microphone, Mike's an amazing dude. Cordo, Roger's so good. Mm -hmm. And Roger's such a cool dude. Even, you know, Dry Hop and Brand and Eric. And, you know, Sean at Moore, obviously, is, you know, one of the ones leading the charge. But, you know, Eli at Mars. Everyone's, like, such great people. Yeah. That's why it, it makes it super fun. And, and that's why I love being a fan still, not just being oh, like, oh, sure. I'm, you know, a, a, a 
person that works at Forbidden Root. It's just fun to be a fan of beer still, no matter well, what we and, all put out. And Chicago beer has taken a drastic step forward in the last year and a half. I mean, let's be honest. Yeah, I mean, even and, since and, the Atomic and, Child Review. And Sean, <laughs> and Sean has kind of pushed that for a lot of people. I mean, he was one of the first with microphone, him, and he pushed the stout game hard. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys are coming in with Corridor and a lot of, and some others, and, and even Revolution and Half Acre are stepping up a little bit. I mean, honestly, Revolution with those 12-ounce barrel-aged cans Fantastic. just made themselves so re- like relevant again. It was huge. Well, I mean, even huge for them. I don't know if you watched Don't Drink Beer, like Andy even did. Oh, of course, he yeah. Some of those. Don't Drink Beer. Oh, he loves them. But he did. Um, so we'll come back to this for just a second. Cause yeah, we're, let's do that. Um, if you like, if you don't like artificial adjuncts, like, forward if you if you like your stouts to be stouts and not be adjunct forward this may not be it's super sweet but if you like the style of beer which i think most people watch right we now do, do pastry style people uh, right? we do it's it's a plus it's not how it's for me like scoop like okay. i compare it to scoop because scoop is one of my top five beers ever this is not near that but this is straight a plus straight, it's not even close and it's and it's not barrel aged and that's impressive so if i was going to trade for one of the two uh, it's actually kind of hard because I really like both of them. Um, I'd probably go for this one. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit more unique. But either way, it's still an A-plus beer for me. Well, I, I hear s'mores is coming soon. Um, but yeah. I will I will Charlie totally agree. Shows. I mean, I, I think for non barrel aged styles, I mean, I, admittedly, I've been a fan of his whole his whole line and everything that, that's gone on. I mean, I love this, this beer. I love strawberry. So I'm totally on board it's so nice to like to sit here and sip on it you know so my buddy john said he wasn't as big a fan of it he said it was average because he didn't like the fake strawberry i like that so i mean it's like top that note strawberry nicely quick strawberry it's very forward i mean unless we sat here and like macerated strawberries you know how hard it'd be to duplicate oh, like really really I good agree. strawberry no so the fact that it's like top note that's what i'd almost rather have i agree i mean it's not like, like it's it. we're putting like thin extract and we're putting yeah. like real puree or real top note in, and I, I, I feel like it tastes awesome and yeah. it works so well I agree. it's really good so a plus for you what i you can't going? rate i can't rate okay especially since my you know so a brian, fellow chicago no it's amazing sean you know that brian really likes so it. good all right well i'm going a plus thanks for sharing yeah cheers everybody behind the bar cheers